All right, hey everybody, this is Scott, uh, Scott Sheetrock Services, AKA Triple S Drywall, uh, coming to you from Houston, Texas, and uh, trying to do things a little bit more Southern style. Most of these things I see online are people up north with hawks and trials. We use pans and knives in the South. So uh, in particular, it's a door frame here that we're uh, repairing, so they widen the door. Uh, so they can put a double door in here, and obviously we have this arch. So if you're to put regular tape in there, regular tape tends to bend and it'll crinkle and it'll blister. So I'm going to show you how we tape the inside angle of the arch. So I take a regular piece of tape like such, and it'll come down. Make sure you crease, and I usually start on this side. But you're gonna every about an inch and a half, two inches or so, and you're gonna tear that just to the crease. Do not go past the crease because that's gonna make your corner. So you just continue this process all the way down as such. So when you're finished, you'll have one clean end, and then this side will be teased out. So we're gonna put it in our arch like this, and what that does is allow that tape to bend a little bit on the bottom where you don't have any blisters or holes or anything. So I've already got a piece cut, pre-cut for this, and I'm gonna show you how to apply it. So if you do have any flats or angles or butt joints, you wanna make sure they're taped first so the angle will seal that up. And so we're just gonna put a healthy portion of love all the way across the top and bottom. So the way I do this is I'll, I'll take a little bit like that just on the edge of my knife and if you use the corner of your pan it kind of knocks that down where it doesn't fall as much so we'll mud this up completely both sides and then I, I usually try to do something like this on the bottom make sure everything's filled in real nice If you have a big gap like that, you want to make sure it's filled. All the way down. So now I've already pre-cut the tapes and sides. You can just lay it out and go along the side and then cut the corner. And so this is the piece that I cut pre-cut. So on the top side, so you want to try and crease it again, having all your tape on a nice crease for application. So your cut pieces are going to be on the bottom side because the top side's flush. So with the cut pieces on the bottom, yeah, we'll start on this side. Get there square in that corner. So all your cut pieces on the bottom, your straight sides on the top. And make sure you get that angle of the tape, the crease of the tape into that angle of the arch. Nice and even. Like so. So you can kind of run your fingers in there and just make sure that crease is up in that corner real good. I usually wipe the top side first. So you're gonna turn your knife a little bit. You don't want the side of your knife touching the tape on the bottom. So turn your knife just a little bit and just have that corner. It's not a tremendous amount of pressure, but even. Just like that. Got a bit of bumps going on here. Get that out of there. So wipe that top side. And even. And as you see, you got your teeth here. I like to put a little bit of mud across the top of it, real even, like before I wipe it. And then, same thing, just kind of stick that real gently. It's not a lot of pressure, just real gently lay that, that down, like so. A little mud on top helps. Let's 
fill that in. And then we'll do this last little bit. And there it is. So you want to make sure you don't leave any mud in the corner. And then from there, we'll do a float coat on it to fill it in. This is just covering the tape, top and bottom. Uh, as a beginner, I would suggest to do one side at a time and let it dry. It's a little bit trickier to do both sides at the same time. Whichever side has the lowest, or it seems might need the most amount of mud. So I'll do this, and again, I'm just gonna leave corner of that knife in there very so slightly. And we'll do the same thing on the top, kind of lay that down. Just keep your corner. Remember, keep your corner, just the corner knife in there. It's a six inch knife, stainless steel. And then you can clean that edge up a little bit. And then we'll do one really light pass. And then we'll come back on the bottom, just a point in there, and just barely. I mean, I have no pressure on it. Just to kind of clean that up just a little bit. That's how you tape an inside arch. Talk to you guys next time.